what's going on YouTube universe welcome to another episode of auction life it is junk auction day if you're new to the channel what we do is we go to auctions um, yard sales flea markets we buy storage units we do estate clean outs we do all that kind of fun stuff in the hopes that we can find something that we can sell online list uh, locally on like a Facebook marketplace or something like that or that I just think is cool and I want to keep and it seems like my list grows longer and longer each time so it's uh, the flash stuff stays Harry Potter stuff Batman stuff Star Wars stuff it, it never ends so um, yeah so we're back at the junk auction today it's supposed to be pretty hot today uh, there was a lot of storms last night, so I don't know if the tables will all be covered. And if they're not covered, oof, gonna be looking at some wet stuff today. So, we got Stevie with us. Good morning, Stevie. Stevie, you cannot eat gummy bears for breakfast. Uh, this guy, he's killing me. I'm telling you. He eats like a five-year-old. You cannot have gummy bears for breakfast. You're not allowed. It's not good for you. Yeah. You keep that. Give me the gummy bears back. Okay. So, what's the goal for today? The goal for today is to find something unusual. Um, we're looking for something really kind of out there that we can sell quickly. Kind of like one of those things that you see online and you go, holy cow, I didn't even know they made those. Um... But other than that, we're looking for some cool stuff as well. But today for our challenge, we got to do a little challenge, Stevie. What do you think? Oh, definitely you can't buy stuff better than me. All right. Um, yeah, so Stevie wants to have a contest where we each go buy stuff and we see who makes the better deal. So he can't do that because he doesn't even have any money. You don't know. Stevie. Wow. Where'd you get money, Stevie? Uh. Knowing Stevie, he'll spend it all on mushrooms and coins and turtle shells. So, let's go check it out. Let's see what we can find. Let's go to the junk auction. Me versus Stevie today. Here we go. Good, how are you doing today? Uh, oh, I like this table, this looks good already. Nice clean boxes. and had all battery stuff. Battery cables. Terminals. A lot of battery stuff. What's that? Battery clamps. Just all battery stuff. It's a lot of it.
This is an interesting table, to say the least. This probably goes with that table. Brackets. Miscellaneous jewelry. Very weird here today. We're gonna keep looking and we'll see what we got. If I find something good, I'll pop back in. Christmas lights. Christmas. Very drippy around here. Sometimes they can be worth money. See, that's the... I think that's the Berwinetta. If that was an IROC, that'd be worth more money. Tractor seat. 
Whew, what a mess. Get some furniture, shall we? It's a good idea. Cases. A lot of blonde furniture. Those are neat. There's two of them. Funky. White label, dude. Probably from the pirate ship or something. Yo, buy this. Let's get lit. They fucking nuts. I'm not gonna this shit. Look, they got it. everything in my grandfather's closet. Balloon stuff. Got some ammo. Okay, we are home from the junk auction. It is the first annual auction lice versus Stevie challenge. Um, I believe we both. No, he he told me he spent twenty bucks, and I spent like ten. So we're gonna see who did better. We're gonna start with me since I'm the host and I get to say what we do. So this is what I bought. We got a brand new in the box meat slicer. All of the uh, attachments everything's there thought that was pretty cool we picked up this box lot right here we have our Disney plate uh, this is like a nor what is it handcrafted Nippon little dish have a couple purses this I thought was pretty cool. It's a brand new Minolta pocket auto pack in the box. Brand new. New old stock. Kind of cool. 
that might be worth a few bucks there's a couple purses some old keys an old tray this i believe my editor is probably going to want to steal it's a little matchbox safe hangs over the stove and you used to hang your you know cut your stuff with it i actually picked up we're gonna move this little i don't know what this guy does i guess he's just artwork i don't know what he is he's a little different I'm going to give that to my mom. She collects piggy stuff. She's probably going to know what that is. And I also picked her up this one. I think they're pigs, but I'm not sure. I don't know what kind of... It's like some kind of artwork. Looks like dancing piggies. So, I got her that. And then I picked up this box of ephemera. This is where I think I'm going to do good. This is a 2002 Harley service manual. So anybody that has this year bike is going to want this manual if they don't already have it. Um, I did a quick look online and just the manuals. See, he's got $10 listed on there. I think I can get $15 for it if I list it online because it's a lot bigger audience. And then these are 1956 local Bethlehem, Easton Allen Town, the Lehigh Rambler. These are kind of cool. These are old magazines. And they have all the old advertisement. Different stuff. But there's a whole box of them. Panor Bucks County Panorama. They're all 25 centers, so they're a little older. Ooh, an automobile issue. You know, there's there's a lot of pretty cool stuff in there. Look at the old the old Jeep Wagoneer ads and stuff. Kind of cool. So that's what I picked up. So I think I did pretty good. I think I did great. I think you're up, Stevie. Mm -hmm. did... So what did you buy? Over there? Holy crap. What did you buy? Stevie bought a ton of DVDs and CDs. I hope you didn't buy empty cases. If you bought empty cases, you lose. Nope, they're in there. A whole bunch of CDs. Uh, party time karaoke, cashmere, all different varieties. Of Motown classics. I might have to check some of these out. But there's one, two, three, four, five boxes. So you paid four dollars a box. That's a pretty good deal, Stevie. I think you might have won. I think you win. I hate to say it. But we're probably shutting the bottom. <gasps> That's my new game. That's the best thing in the world. If ever I want to buy, if I buy something and my editor gets mad, I can just say Stevie did it. Ha <laughs> ha. I love you, Stevie. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Auction Life. Um, in a couple days, I am going to take you with me and do some filming we're going to help set up the next consignment auction for our friend Les and I'm going to show you from beginning to end how a auction is set up and the, give you some of the science behind that then on Thursday we're going to do a little filming during the actual auction I'm going to try and set it up with the camera on the up on the um, podium with us so you can get an idea of what it's like from an auctioneer's point of view so stay tuned for that a um, lot more stuff coming yeah so I think I'm about done hmm no oh I, my stupid dad joke I don't I don't have one hmm hmm I have one, but I think I used it. But if you can remember this one, if I used this one a long time ago, you got to give me you got to give me a pass on this one. Okay. My stupid dad joke is this. How do you get ready for an alien's birthday party? You plan it. I know that one was dumb. I really think I used that one already. Okay, I'm sorry. Time to go. 
It's hot. I'm sweating. Tell your friends. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Let everybody know we're putting out a little more content. Um, yeah, so keep living that auction life. See you next time. I'm going in where it's cool. Bye.